Hello and welcome back to the Marthy Show for another video. This is just going to be a short little video. I thought that I would update you because I know that not all of you are on Twitter or following the situation. Maybe some of you even just watch my videos to keep up with the creep show art situation. But it looks like there's going to be another chapter because Emily Artful has tweeted and said after taking some time to be with my family as well as take care of my own mental health i've decided to go ahead and release a part two to my creep video this time i examine anthony even further as well as discover new receipts that further corroborate what i've been saying and she also shared this image she also goes on to say over here i also proved that my screenshots are real thankfully sharon reactivated her instagram as well as the fact that Anthony and I had discussions all the way up until 2016. He deleted his Facebook account, but he actually signed his name in his initial Facebook message to me in 2013. Expect to see the video out in the next few days. This was not the other video I had planned, but I'm not going to allow myself to get walked over anymore. They can't hurt me anymore. Which is really interesting because I wasn't expecting this. Good on Emily. I would suggest that the positive reception to her part one has been uh, helpful for her and i'm glad that she has taken care of her own mental health because it would have been a lot the overwhelming support for that video would have just been a lot mentally even if it was positive i'd imagine it would have been overwhelming and especially to talk about something like that they've been happening allegedly for like a decade it's definitely something big and probably a weight off the shoulders. I know personally that talking about something that you felt like you kind of had to be quiet about in the YouTube space can definitely be a weight off your shoulders. I've uh, had something kind of happen with a fellow YouTuber and I made a full video about all that and that was definitely a weight off my shoulders. Wasn't anything like this completely different. I'm not trying to compare my situation to Emily at all. What Emily has been through is a lot worse than what I went through. Uh, I will say though that this is kind of interesting because it was said that she had initially said that she was going to make a video full of receipts. And I think that's what she means when she said that this wasn't the part two that she was initially going to release but there's a twitter account that i covered recently that was thought to be potentially shannon and this brings a lot of their stuff undone now some people have said to me oh well it's obviously not shannon why are you giving it attention and the reason why is because people had kind of been like oh well this may or may not be shannon and so I felt like I could just kind of ask them the questions that they wanted to know and then they could further make up their own mind. And the reason why I think this is important to this is because there's a lot of tweets from this account about Emily. You can see that the pin tweets are about Emily. There's a whole bunch. There's another reply to Emily. There is a bunch. Just for a heads up. I can't really find any more, but there is a there is a whole bunch. Uh, if, if you go to there, if you're interested or whatever, then uh, keep peeping on it, Emily. There you go. There's a whole bunch. But anyway, that's just about all I really wanted to say for this. I will most likely make a video about Emily's second part. I'm actually in the process of making another video, but I felt like this was kind of important and that you would want to know, and I should definitely cover it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. That's all I have to say. Have a nice day and peace.